<laughs> yeah, it's hot. That's good. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grandma, what, what city did you grow up in? What state? City. City? Uh-huh. Frankly, Arkansas. Really? Yeah. You you didn't like it there? Oh no. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's the city I grew up. I like New Mexico. Oh, okay. That's my favorite state. What what age were you when you moved away from Brinkley? From Brinkley? Yeah. I don't know, but it must have been um uh, uh uh, around 18. Okay. Because uh, uh, um, uh, my mother and, dad and father moved to New Mexico. He had a brother in uh, Albuquerque that had a plumbing shop. Okay. And uh, he, he had a plumbing shop. Uh huh. His, uh, my father's brother. So. Uh, that we moved there. Oh, he had a plumbing shop in New Mexico. No, he worked for his brother. His brother had a oh. plumbing shop. And then my father worked for the, his brother. Okay, so that's why you moved to New Mexico? Mm-hmm. Wow. Right. Right. So you lived in Albuquerque, right? Mm-hmm. And what, what age did you, what years did you stay there? I was a senior. I, I didn't go to school there, so I, I must have already uh, graduated from high school huh. when I went out there. And uh, hard to remember <laughs> where I got that Miss New Mexico bit. Um, I had this lady that like. Carmen, you know, Carmen, um, once a week I go uh -huh. down and she washes and does my hair. And this lady did my hair. And they, this, uh, they came through with uh, the, heck, they were going to have the, uh, uh, anyway, uh, she wanted me, she wanted to, to sponsor me and have me. Uh, go <laughs> I was working at the bank, uh, teller at the bank, and I really didn't want to be, I didn't want any part of it, but my younger sister decided that's what she wanted me to do. <laughs> so, that's what I ended up, let's see, how did it went? Oh, I guess they, they told me, she, that I had to just walk across, this in Albuquerque, I just walk across the stage, <laughs> which I did, and and uh, won that part of it. And then I had to go to Atlantic City, where they had that Miss America. Yeah. <laughs> and so I got, I got stuck with that. <laughs> oh gosh, you didn't want to do it though. No, I didn't want to. <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you enjoy it? No, I, re I re in enjoyed some of the results of the whole thing, but no. Mm -hmm. But I loved it, New Mexico. What What did you like about New Mexico? New Mexico. Yeah. Well, there it was. It's uh, it's got the desert all on one side and the mountains mm -hmm. on the other, and the uh, the the mountains especially were beautiful. Yeah. We the most of the young people on the weekend would go up to the mountains to, mm. for the day. Wow. Just to go hiking? Mm -hmm. Just to go hiking? Hiking, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you were in New Mexico during World War II? Yeah. 
Was that 1944? Or something like that? Huh. I was working at the First National Bank in Albuquerque. Teller. Okay. Huh? So you worked at the bank all through the war? Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Pretty much because they had the, the big Air Force and the field there on the outskirts of Albuquerque. Okay, so it was probably busy. Huh. What what changed about life during the war? What li what changed? Yeah, did anything change during the war? Did life change? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> a long that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Hmm. When, when did you move to Miami? Uh, 1945, I think. 45? Let me see. How did I down here? Oh, um. Um. Oh. Somebody came through Albuquerque. And, uh, of course, aviation was really beginning to get mm -hmm. very busy, mm -hmm. and they needed uh, stewardesses. Oh. And um, I got, um, I, went, I think I went in and, and, uh, and was, was chosen, and, but they told me, they wanted me in uh, in Miami. Wow. That's where they were busiest. Yeah. So actually, I came here to work for Pan, Pan American as a stewardess. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you, you think that was 1945? Mm-hmm. What wow. was funny with that, um, is it, the aviation got started <clears throat> this, um, Man started a little, uh, a small airline, and uh, uh, I, uh, I didn't, I didn't apply until I got, I, I was flying with them. Yeah. It was small, short flights, and uh, when I went to my mailbox. There was a letter from the president of this little uh, airline, and he said that it, um, I had all of the qualifications for a Pan American stewardess, and that uh, he had made the uh, he had made an appointment for me with the fellow who was in charge of, of Pan Am stewardesses. Hmm. If I was interested to go, and uh, and then if I didn't, to just ignore that, but that he had made the uh, the appointment. So, uh, well, I decided that's what I wanted to do. I loved uh, aviation. All of a sudden, I loved it. Yeah. And anything to do with an airplane. <laughs> so. I uh, I went to uh, to the appointment that this fellow had made, and I you know I got put my best uh, suit and everything on, and uh, figured that I was <laughs> going in for an appointment. I wanted to look my best. Yeah. So when I. When I walked in, he said, uh, oh, you're Miss Cooper. Um, I can't think of the fellow that made the appointment. He, he said, uh, do you, uh, and 
know him very well? And I said, no. <laughs> but he was training the, the uh, stewardesses for the small airline that I was with. And uh, he made this appointment for me. And he started to laugh. I was furious. Here I am trying to look my best, be my best, and he starts to laugh. And he said, he says, you'll have to excuse me, but I don't know how, how well you know them. What can I can remember his name? But uh, um, he said, um, all I can tell you is this. You're going to have to be some stewardess <laughs> to live up to the <laughs> this estimation of the whole thing. And that's how I started. I started with Pan Am. Wow. <laughs> so when did you meet Granddad? Where did I meet Bob? Yeah. Was he in, did you meet him in Miami or New Mexico? In, in uh, Miami, in uh, Miami, Miami, he was with Pan Am. Oh. That's uh, mm -hmm. What did he do with Pan Am? What did he do? Yeah. He was an engineer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What the... They, where they worked on the airplanes. <laughs> Kept going. That was awesome. And the funny thing about it was I had a room at this, uh, uh, this lady's house that, uh, in, in uh, uh, just off Lane's highway there. And um, she knew Bob's, she was a friend of Bob's mother. And, um, and then Bob, and Mrs., can't think of her name right now. Anyway, he, she thought, she wanted she decided she wanted me, wanted him to meet me because I had, a, a, with a, another girl, that we had a room there in her house. And uh, she called me and told me, and she said that his, that she had told his mother that she, that she wanted her son to meet this little stewardess that has a room here. And she said, oh, he wouldn't be interested in that. He, she, he already has a, uh, uh, he has a school teacher that uh, they're, uh, they have been uh, going together. And um, <laughs> Mrs. Fry said, well, when he meets my little stewardess, He's going to forget all about that teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and so then then you met him? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wow. So how, how many years did you date before you married him? So what year was that again? Was it like 1940-something? 1945. 45, wow. Wow. Um, I loved Pan Am, though. And they were, the, <clears throat> they were great to, for, to work for. And, of course, uh, they, uh, 
flight went out of Miami. It went Miami, San Juan, San Juan, um, it went, we went all the way to Argentina, and you, you would be gone like two weeks on the flight because you'd have over overnights along the way. Yeah. And down in Rio and uh, uh, but then when as I said today it would be I could go from Miami to Port of Spain and then to uh, Rio and then uh, Argentina and then turn around and come and back. back. So by the time you got back, you had been away from the base here two weeks. Wow. And you'd get two weeks off, and then you'd be ready for another flight. That's <laughs> it awesome. Was a, it was a great life. Wow. A great life. Mm -hmm. Wow. When you were traveling, when you were going from stop to stop, did you go out and, and explore the different countries? No, because uh, usually you were just overnight. And you had to be right back on. And right back on. Uh -huh. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Did you ever do go to Havana? What? Did you ever fly to Cuba? I oh, we went from Miami to... Uh, hmm. No. But it was a great life. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. You took him a cup of coffee. Yeah, took him a cup of coffee. And uh, I had assumed that he was saying thank you. And I said, you're quite welcome. And he looked at me so funny. And I said, I thought, uh-oh. I said something, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, um, what did you say? And he said, I said, you have beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> uh -huh. and I, had, uh -huh. I had thought he had said thank you. And I said, you're quite welcome. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. That's funny. Wow. And then um, Pan Am would, um, their season uh, here in Miami and New York and um, then New, uh, New York but they were they were, uh, uh, they needed uh, they, they were short of stewardesses so they they just tell you you had to go to New York wow. So I was in New York for, I guess, almost a year. I didn't, I didn't care much for New York. So you had to go to New York for a full year? Well, I wasn't there that long. Uh, I'd only been there a short time, and then they had a shortage here. Uh -huh. <laughs> As they just, just tell you to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I wasn't long in New York, and then I was sent back to Miami. But you really, you really liked Miami back then. Yeah, I liked Miami. I never, I wasn't really crazy about New York. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs>